Visual C Program 7 of Unit 2. Open Visual Studio. Create new web application. Now as per question. Display name of state in drop down list. Allow the user to select the state and display the name of cities using data reader. Create table state with state ID, state name, and city with city ID, city name and state ID. So first of all create new database. Go to the solution explorer right click on root. Then add SQL server database. You can change name of database and then add it. Now we need to create two tables one for state and another for city. So for that first of add new table then. Add field as state ID and state name with appropriate data types and then set state ID as primary key. Now save the table as state. Add another table and insert fields name as city ID, city name, and state ID with appropriate data type and set city ID as primary key. Now we need create relation between these tables. So for that select state ID field here and click on relationship. Then inside box, click on add then from tables and columns specification. You can give name to that relationship then specify relative column field from previous table state ID from state table and state ID from current table and click on OK then close this box. Now save the city table. Now insert values inside both tables. Now as per question we need to display values inside drop down list so for that create new web form. Go to the Solution Explorer and right click on Root. Select Add New Item then select Visual C Sharp as Language and Web Form. You can change name of web form as I am changing here as U2P7.ASPX then add it. Now put two labels and two drop down list to display states and city. Now click on the smart icon of the first drop down list and check the auto post back checkbox. Now go to u2p7.aspx.cs file here we need to write code for binding drop down lists to the database. Add header file as system.data.sql client. Now make connection with the database. Then inside page load event. Open the connection. Then create query for retrieving data from state table. Add it into SQL command with connection. Here use data reader command to read data. Now connect data source with drop down list 1, then specify text field and value field of the drop down list and in last bind the data and dispose the commands and close the connection. Now we need data for city so for that we will create one method as get city. And inside it again open the connection. Here we need selected states ID from drop down list one so for that we will store it inside one variable and convert it into integer. Then we will pass the command to the SQL command and again we will use data reader to fetch data from table with matching value according to query. Now as we done in previous event connect the data source with drop down list 2 and then specify text field and value field for it then bind the drop down list 2 and dispose the reader object and command object and close the connection then call the get city method from the page load event again call this event inside drop down list 1 selected index change event
Then you can debug the program and check the output as I am changing values of drop down list 1 the values inside second drop down list also change.